Hey, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you with hope. Today, I'm recording outside on my deck. It's actually raining. My camera is going to have a bit of a trouble because the lighting is really, uh, it's darker than it usually is, and then it would be outside. And you might hear the downspouts or the gutters with the rain. You just might hear that. Consider it ambiance. <laughs> All right. And you might get lightning. There was just lightning. Did you see that? Oh, yes. I think I did. All right. So as I came out here to set this up, I'm realizing that I probably need to hold, actually hold the microphone today. We're going to cuddle this microphone because I want you to be able to hear me. And you will probably hear some of the wind noise. And I, I'm recognizing that that might be challenging for some. This might not be the kind of uh, channeling session to listen to with your AirPods on. We're going to talk to Ray Liotta today. Goodfellas, the original Goodfellas. That's how I know him. That's how I'm going to connect with him. I get that he's done tons of other things, but we're going to have a conversation with Ray Liotta and we're specifically going to talk about death, the time of death, the process of death, because he died abruptly and rather peacefully in his sleep unexpectedly. So we're going to have a conversation about that. All right. That whole unexpected death process, peace for all of us who are human people that are here left to grieve people that die suddenly or unexpectedly. I think that's a very important topic right now, given our current events and also just life, because there's so much grief going on, not just grief from loss, of, loss through death, but through loss, through job, through loss, through financial security, through loss, through relationship through loss, through a move. I mean, there's so many things like, I, I know that when I talk to you in private session that you're going through and it's really tough. I know, I know it, I feel it too. And you can do it. We can do it. We are built with resilience. We have stamina, but we also have the incredible tools that provide us with peace, the connection to beauty, to moving through our day-to-day -day lives in a way that is always healing, okay? Healing, helpful, and hopeful. All right, so I came to sit outside and <clears throat> I went to sit down and I had carry a ton of rocks in my pocket, rocks or, or um, some totem stuff. So I'm gonna show you what's in my pockets, okay? Before we get started with Ray, all right? I'm gonna set this down for a second, all right. Let that lighting adjust too for a second. It's gonna adjust, you guys. I know, I know. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I'll fix it eventually. So if if you watch me on Fairy Grasshopper, my YouTube channel, you know that in the month of May I went out to Seattle and I hung out at my sister's place. I did some dog sitting, and when I was there, I found some treasures. I found these little stones. They're just like a steel or a metal. And <clears throat> I can't remember what they call them, totem stones or something, I don't know. Um, it's just, they're very simple, they're very smooth. Yeah, they're not rocks, they're obviously man-made, just the metal. But this one says peace on it. That was on my right side, which balances out my divine masculine, which is much needed. And luck was one of them. I thought, oh, that's, that feels good. That feels like Lakshmi, the Hindu goddess aspect for me of abundance, which I could certainly use. And so could you and prosperity, right? So let's invite that energy in. And that was on my left side. Hello, divine feminine in my left pocket. And then also with that in partnership was the wisdom stone here. It says wisdom on it. Yeah, look at that. Can you guys see that? Let's see. There you go. All right. I also had <clears throat> my citrine. I have this beautiful citrine that I found um, in a little shop not too far from here in a little city that I go to often and about 20, 20 25 minutes away. And it's a citrine that looks, it literally almost looks like glass. It looks great or like a rock candy kind of thing. It's, it is yellow. That's what citrine is, but it's very, this one's very clear. That's why I liked it so much. You see that? 
Yes, very nice. Very nice. Citrine reminds me of Archangel Gabriel, who is a very dear spiritual companion of mine, who especially works with me when I travel. Uh, the focus of my good friend Archangel Gabriel is on communication and connection and very much solar plexus yellow energy. Also partners with the Archangel Ural as well to help you with intuition. You can call on these Archangels. You don't have to be a certain faith or or a certain alignment in order to be able to connect with archangels, just ask them to be present in your life and get to know them a bit. It's not that complicated and they're quite friendly and they're available to everyone. It's free. Here goes my light again here in just a minute. So there you go, it's a tree. Ah, Gabriel can also help with women, mothers and family dynamics. <clears throat> All right, one more show and tell and then we will get into the channeling. You can skip ahead if you want. It's fine. I'm okay with that. I won't be offended. All right. Actually, I will be, but it's all right. We can still be friends. <laughs> so this, look at this. It's a little, it's prayer beads. It's actually St. Bridget right here. St. Bridget, there's a St. Bridget medal. Got it off Etsy, of course. And this, I, wish I, knew, I can't remember the name woman that made these in Hawaii came from the Hawaii look at the triscal or triscalette depending on how you see this very much a Celtic energy which I love so much and St. Bridget obviously very connected to we share that name I obviously love the fire element and the balance of the fire water is very uh, helpful for me personally in my life but this triscal has been a very strong spiritual symbol for me for years no I'm not actually Irish Catholic or Celtic in this lifetime as Bridget, which even though my name is pretty strong Irish, I am not, my family is not. However, in many of past lives, I have been, and I am very much connected to Celtic shamanism energetically and to the Druid energies as well. So I would love to go to Ireland at some point. Um, this is actually um, aventurine. The green stone is aventurine. It's hard to see it here, but it's a very good angel stone, actually great for healing and connecting with Archangel Raphael. There's another angel for you. I'm hoping that on Above Life channel here, I can insert some of the other types of work that I do spiritually and through my intuitive coaching work to help inspire your spirit and fill you with hope because that's the point of being here at Above Life channel, to learn, to learn from spirit, from the afterlife, to use tools in your day-to-day -day life to help you be a better person, to let your spirit be more free and comfortable while you are connected in this life. And I know there are struggles. I know there are. I know there has been challenges. I know there has been a tremendous amount of grief and it, you might feel alone, but you are not. You always have your best friend, which is your spirit, your soul. All right, let's talk to Ray Liotta, shall we? I might need some coffee for this one. He's like, so totally like Jersey Mike. Like that's how he feels to me. Like, <laughs> I'm Joyzy. <laughs> I've only been to New York City once in my life. I've been to the East Coast to New England a couple of times. <laughs> I have not been to New Jersey. <clears throat> Some people are like, yeah, you're not missing anything. Oh, 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 oh. If you are from New Jersey, post some love in the bottom, please. Put some hearts down below. Put something to help us know that you guys are not all ready to fight with us or to throw some hands here, okay? Let's post some love down below. He's like, oh, you drink your coffee black, he says to me. You drink your coffee black. He has a bit of an accent. <clears throat> He's like, he says, yeah, every once in a while I let it slip. Yeah, you do. I noticed that. Uh, but I drink my coffee black. Yes, I do drink my coffee black, but I have intense coffee here. I got that Nespresso machine going, and I got that nice, rich, bold kind of roast coffee going. Mm. And he's, he's sharing, do you remember how you, he says, you know, my grandma used to make coffee like uh, they would reuse the coffee grounds, he says. What? He's like, my grandma, you know, they used to reuse, like she'd save everything. She'd save everything. She got it she's real stingy. He says, real stingy. <laughs> he's like, she save everything. And he's like, you know, that's what happens like, when you, you know, grow up in depression and all that. He says, you know, my grandma, real stingy. He says, like she saved the coffee grounds. She actually saved the coffee grounds. You know, they're good for the garden. He says, like gardening. I'm like, oh no. 
And he's like, but she'd use them a couple of days, you know, you got to use them, but you got to kind of let them strain, uh, sit, strain, sit and dry out. And then you can use them again. Oh, oh, oh you guys. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Anybody that owns a coffee shop or is a coffee connoisseur down below in the comments, I know you're going to throw up in your mouth a little. It's okay. It's all right. Okay. I have not had enough coffee. It might seem like I'm a little woo woo, but it's because I did my, I used my anointing oils this morning. I did great meditations and I did spirit guide stuff and totem animal stuff. And I feel great about that. So he's like, yeah. So what do you do? He says to me, so what do you, what do you do? Like he's genuinely curious, you guys. Well, you know, since you're dead, you would understand there's this whole afterlife thing and that there's the opportunity to communicate with people, spirits of people who have crossed over and also like angels and animals and totem guides and all that kind of stuff. He's like, yeah, and famous people. Yeah, and famous people. You bump into everybody. Yeah, famous people. You get to meet everybody. So who did you want to meet? And he's saying Muhammad Ali. <laughs> really? Yeah, you know, a famous boxer, a fighter, you know, he's like, fight. He likes, he's like telling me about like watching fighting or something. I don't know if it's like actual boxing fighting or extreme fighting or whatever, but he's saying, I like, I like the, the fights and stuff. Oh, okay. Okay. We were just talking about throwing hands, Jersey. Okay. Come on. All right. <clears throat> so, so since you, yeah, so what I do is I, I do a lot of different things. I, right now, are the ability that we have to have a communi connection or talk is because I'm willing to see through into the other layers of our existence and communicate with, through energy to spirits, which is basically the essence of energy of a person that once lived. And that's kind of what I do in a nutshell. It's called being psychic. It's called, this is called mediumship, this bridge between being in a human form and then being able to communicate with just a pure spirit essence. But everybody like me, like you, when you had a body, your spirit was in your body. It was kept and housed in your body. And that's why people do meditation and they do spiritual practices to really communicate and commune with their spirit called intuition also. And so um, for me, I am clairvoyant. So I see, so when we're talking, I can see you, I can see your round face and um, your hair, you know, your spiky hair, and I can see you, you know, and I, that's how it's called clairvoyance. It's the third eye. It's the ability to see through into um, see energy in the form of spirit essence. That's how I'm going to describe it. Does that, is that a good description, you guys? That's called mediumship to like this communication with afterlife is specifically called medium, which is, I don't know why it's like, it's in between the small and the large. So it's called medium. I don't know. So yeah, that's kind of what this is. Well, he's saying something about a daughter. Um, and he's also referring to like tarot cards, you guys. So somebody in his life, it looks like a younger person. And then he says, um, I'm feeling like a Michelle or a Melissa, an M-E name. It could be Mel. I'm so bad with names. And if in person too, you guys, in person, if I'm bad with names, I might call you a different name. It's because that's kind of how I feel you are. <laughs> that's how I feel like to you. It's really also because I don't remember names at all. I can hang out with someone for the weekend or really like them as part of a group and totally forget what their name is. So don't be offended by that. Um, so Mel, Melissa, um, M-E, uh, uh, could be a Michelle, like an M-I-S-H-E, something like that. Um, but he's showing me tarot cards. Like he knows about it. Okay. I'm not a card reader per se, like I don't use tarot. There are people that are available that do psychic work that do just card deck, re you know, readings with card decks and tarot. And everybody can do that. Everybody can use cards as an assistant to get you information. That's a great way to start. In fact, I recommend Denise Lynn's cards. No, I'm not sponsored. Denise Lynn, L-I-N-N. -N. She has great cards, you guys, super grounding, not too airy fairy, not too woo woo. I got to figure out all what the heck this galactic stuff. No, it's not that. Denise Lynn, L I N N, Sacred Traveler is a good deck. Um, also, Gateway Oracle cards, great basic deck. Gateway Oracle cards. I will put links below to that so you guys can connect with that. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, great starter deck. But tarot is different. Okay, so that's like a thing where you have to like a whole structure where you have to figure out the secret meanings of things. But once you learn the systems, then you can like do it, I guess. I'm not into the tarot deck. I'm not. The closest one I have is 13 Moon Oracle. 
the Ariel Spilsbury deck, the 13 Moon Oracle, which I will link below also. Um, that is just 13 archetypes. And that is energy of divine feminine that I, I definitely connect with. So it's specifically divine feminine archetypes. So you said Tarot. So your family does that. He's like, um, he's showing me like, it's either niece, daughter, or maybe even granddaughter. He's like, do I look old enough to have grandkids? Uh, yes, you are old enough to have grandkids. And I feel like you do. Like there's little kids around you. I can see that unless you're a godfather, which could be. Wow, I am really revved up energetically. You're fun. I like your energy. He says, well, thank you. He says, you're fun too. He says, you are just a ball of light, aren't you? He says to me. <laughs> Oh okay. I can't stop seeing you as the guy in Goodfellas. Oh, with like Joe Pesci in there. Oh my God. I loved him. He was great. I can't believe he got whacked. I can't believe he got whacked in the show. You guys, I, so secret but Bridget trivia. I like, I like, like those mafia movies, those mob movies. I loved them. Like the old, older ones, like, or the ones like Goodfellas and stuff like that. Not like anything maybe that would be an hour or whatever, but oh my gosh, remember there was a, there was like a, a period of time where that was what was all, that's all that was in theaters was movies like that. Um, I can't think of the one with the Al Capone one. I can't think of what the name of that one was. Mm. Anyway, so Goodfellas was the best. I watched that show so many times, but I'm not real happy about like the whole, uh, um, like how it ended and stuff and the whole, you having to go into your character, having to go into witness protection. And I don't, I don't like that necessarily, but at least you survived. So that was good. But the whole drug thing. Yeah. Yuck. That wasn't, that didn't feel good. I didn't like that storyline, but you're awesome. Oh my gosh, you guys, I wish you could see all these huge lightnings going behind him. As soon as I said, you're awesome. So is that kind of where you got your start? He says, no, he says, I have been, um, he's like, oh, he's like, that's what you think. He's like, you're just a baby. He says to me, I'm not a baby. I'm not that like, I'm not that young, Ray, not that young. I wish I was that young. I am not that young. Okay. Um, I don't think you could have technically been a parent to me because I think you would have been too young. Anyway, um, can we talk about, so I just, that's when I saw that you died, I'm like, no way, no way. No, because it just, it's just a bummer. I just was like, wow, that's a, that's a total memory for me. Okay. That movie in particular. All right. So tell me, tell all of us, let's talk. We're going to talk a little more serious once the lights kind of come back on. There we go. Oh, that was really cool. Wasn't it? I really don't have that much control over the lights, just an intention. <clears throat> so Ray, tell us about, yeah, as you can see, um, tell us about the whole, um, the sudden death piece. Tell us about that. How does it feel to all of a sudden wake up dead? Like, I mean, I'm serious and I'm also being light about it. Like, was that like, what happened? Can you tell us what happened? Can you give us an insight scoop on that? Especially from the person's perspective who this, who experiences this directly. He says, there's not much to tell. He says, there's not much to say really. He says, <laughs> he literally just said, it's kind of boring. It's kind of boring, actually. He says, I just went to bed and I, my body just stayed in the bed. <laughs> he said, I just didn't, it just didn't get up. My body just did not get up. He says, I went to bed. And my body didn't get up. Did you feel anything? And he says, I thought I was having this dream. He said, I felt, a, um, he said, I felt kind of a jolt a little bit. Like when somebody comes in and they wake you up you're sleeping and they wake you up like really fast or you have having a dream and all of a sudden like you you're falling and you like wake up and you shake kind of like that he says it wasn't scary there wasn't anything scary about it there wasn't anything creepy about it there wasn't anything that um it didn't he says it's not it wasn't painful it, it wasn't painful it wasn't difficult it wasn't anything like that he said it just really he says, and, and he says, he says, um, honestly, it feels like I'm kind of in a dream right now. He says, it kind of feels like I'm in a dream. We're talking. He says, you and I are talking and like, 
I've seen the whole, I've seen like the people I love, you know, my family and people grieving. And, and, and he says the tributes, the real heartfelt tributes are so, that's just so nice. He says, it's just so nice. You know, he says, it's just really nice. I, I think it's, um, just really, really nice of people to say such nice things. And, um, he says, it's, it's kind of hard to believe it. It's kind of hard to believe. It, it really feels like I'm right now. It's, I feel kind of like I'm in a dream. So, so do you know that you're dead? Let me just ask that blunt question. Do you understand, Ray, that you're dead? Like that you're not coming back to your life? Yes. Well, yeah. Yeah. That's kind of obvious. He says, yeah. Thinks about it for a second, kind of sighs, and is, he's putting his hands together, they're clasped, and he puts them in his lap, and he kind of looks down and he says, Well, that's kind of obvious. Yeah. And then he says, um, So I'm, I'm kind of like, so my mind is, I'm asking questions, and he's already, already responding to the next thoughts I have. It's so cool. They anticipate because they can feel the energy of the thought. Thought is an energy, you guys. So when you think something, it, it can be received. So your thoughts do matter. Yes, they do. Focus on the good ones. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't want to, he says. No, I wouldn't want to come back because I was, I was asking in my mind. My thought was just like you guys were thinking, well, would you want to come back? Would you want to? And he says, no, 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 no. It's too late for that. He says, it's too late for that. He says, I've had my run. He said, you know, I had some problems. You know, I've had some problems in my life, he says, but you know, I've had a good life. He's like, I had a good life. I had a good run. He says, it's kind of, you know, it's like now it's time for the, the next, you know, let the, let the other people, <clears throat> you know, kind of figure things out and step forward. He says, are you, um, can you share with us anything about spirituality or a spirit? Like when you transitioned, when you actually left your body and realized that you were dead, like, what was that moment? Like, he says, I'm still trying to realize that he says, I don't think, um, it's hard to understand. He says, because there's not a, there's not a mind. He says that figures things out for you. Now he says, there's no mind involved. He said, the reason why you can connect and explain to people about what I'm thinking is because that's just the whole catalog of information that's connected to my energy grid. He says, that's how you would see it. But for me, I still feel very much connected to the ego mind, to my mind in um, the sense of like memories and um, experiences from my life, because I, I didn't have a chance to say goodbye, you know? That's the one piece that I, that's hard. He says, it's really hard. That part is the hard part. The regret part would be the one regret that I would, I mean, I have many, obviously I have several, everybody has, everybody will, you think you won't, you know, he says, you think you won't, you think you've made your peace with people and things you've done and, and things and things you could have done better. You just know you could have done better. He says, it's the could have done better part. That's the hard part. He says, so that, that does translate into some regret. He says, it would be, that's the closest thing. It's almost like a guilt for not, <clears throat> for not allowing yourself some more fun, for not allowing yourself some more, you know, deeper connections and, and deeper conversations with people, like really being there, you know, in that moment. I'd like to think that, you know, I made a lot of friends and, and I had a lot of good times and that maybe I, you know, helped some people along the way and made an impact, but I feel like um, you can always do more, you know, and there's always going to be things left undone. And, and that's the piece that I think is really hard to, I, I didn't get to say goodbye. And, and I just, I want to make sure that the people in my life knew that they were loved by me. Like, and he's like saying, like, Okay, so he's showing me like moodiness. Like he literally shows me him like a mood ring. Like he's changing different colors, like a mood ring. Like he's showing me he's moody, very much temperamental moody. He says, oh, oh, oh. He says, ah, well, you're being nice. Thank you. He says, I, I mellowed out with age. He said, but when I was younger, I was uh, a little unpredictable and a little impulsive with my like anger. Like I'm going to say passion, but he's going to angry. He's going to say, you can say it. I was, at times I could go from, you know, I could get angry fast, you know. Things would bother me that shouldn't bother me, like that kind of stuff. You know, he said, those are the things that you kind of look back and go, hey, I could have done that better. 
Is that really worth my time? No. <clears throat> In my mind, I just literally asked, because he's showing me like fights and I'm like, is it acting you guys? Like, I'm like, is it a scene in a movie or is it really, <laughs> he's fighting people like, or like anger issues. Um, he does show me, like I literally, it's my, my thought is, have you been to jail then? Like, have you been in trouble? Woo, hello, wind, here it comes. Woo. Hello, air element. Let's create some change in the world, right? He says, um, you really don't know anything about my personal life, do you? He says, you really don't know. That's not, that's not really what this uh, psychic thing is about, is it? It's not really about the personal life of a somebody. Not at Above Life Channel. Because at Above Life Channel, we're interested in the content. We want some substance. We want to know what it feels like. We want to get the inside scoop on the afterlife. We don't care about all the little details. No offense to you about every little thing you did in your life. And every Sunday you did this. And every Wednesday you golfed. And every, you know, every other Saturday you did X, Y, Z. We, that's not what Above Life Channel is. It's about inspiring your spirit and filling you with hope, with insights from the afterlife so that people can listen to what you're sharing about this whole regret thing and about living your life and about feeling like you didn't get to say goodbye and take it to heart and do something good with that content. That information is gold. He says, ah, he says, alchemy. Like he's using my words now. I'm like, are you tapping into my thoughts? <laughs> are you tapping my energy, Ray Liotta? Are you tapping me? Are you tapping me, my energy? <laughs> oh my gosh, seriously guys. He has like the best smile. He's like, ee, and his eyes are so bright. Your eyes are so bright. Like you legitimately look happy, afterlife happy. He says, yeah, there is kind of an euphoria that happens. He says, it's really like this peaceful, you guys, I would describe it as peaceful bliss. Kind of this euphoric kind of, hey, everything feels good over here. Kind of like, kind of like everybody's high over here or everybody's just chill and, you know, like swirling around as magic pixie dust or as stars in the sky kind of thing. Yeah, it is getting a little bit darker out here. We should probably consider wrapping this up on the covered deck and go in the house. Wow, I hope you guys can hear this. I hope you've been able to hear this conversation with Ray Liotta in the afterlife. So make sure the people that you love know that you love them. So you never have to really say goodbye. You don't have to say, hey, I'm leaving now, goodbye kind of vibe there's always this beautiful connection, this loving connection inside. Make sure they know no matter what, no matter where you are, no matter where you go in life or afterlife, that you will be a part of loving them through their life experience. I think that's really important to share. Yeah. And it does, didn't hurt, by the way, his death, not at all uncomfortable. It's like, you got the dream death. Everybody wants to just go to sleep and not wake up. He's like, oh, is that what that is? He says, it was quite unplanned. He says, I didn't realize that that's what was going to happen. I almost feel like there's a heart thing, you guys. I don't know if the cause of death has been revealed yet. It's either a heart thing. Well, obviously the heart had to stop working if that, or something like a pop in the brain and just pop and he's gone. Kind of like a, would that be an aneurysm or something? Like something like a blood vessel thing or something goes to the brain and just pops kind of like that. And then it's done. Um, or it's a heart thing. That's how it feels. But it's up here. It's not the lower body. It's the upper body. So it's like either a brain thing or a heart thing kind of thing but it wasn't painful very clear it wasn't painful so if you have loved ones that passed away like that don't worry about them don't worry about that okay all right so this is bridget talking to ray leota in the afterlife talking about other psychic stuff too because that above life channel the purpose is to inspire your spirit and fill you with hope do you watch the podcast do you listen to it it's on sundays here so make sure you check it out okay Sunday morning coffee with Bridget. I'm thinking that because I've been drinking coffee while we've been having this conversation with Ray in the afterlife. So make sure you hit up the podcast to get inspiration about being a person, a really inspired person, hopefully. <clears throat> I also have other channels that you can communicate and connect with me on. On Instagram, I'm Bridget Inspired. Also on Facebook at Bridget Inspired and Above Life Channel. And Fairy Grasshopper is my other YouTube channel where I share a psychic blog and all things intuitive. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.